but the Huey's performance during the war became legendary. Over the course of 11 years, more than 7,000 Hueys were deployed in Vietnam, flying a staggering 36 million sorties. Over 50 years later, one Huey is found in pieces and is restored to its glory in the Iowa Western Aviation Maintenance Center. Number 532 will be the centerpiece for the Nebraska Vietnam Veterans Memorial. And taking front and center in memoriam, for the unveiling of this very emotional piece of history, the original crew chief and crew. Oh, see, can you see why the dawn's early light? One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I grew up watching the name scroll by on TV. Why is it so emotional even after 50 plus years and I wasn't involved? They were like, hey, what did you do in the Army? And I said, well, I worked on helicopters. They're like, fantastic, we got a thing. <laughs> and I was like, oh, cool. They're like, hook up with Dylan. I'm just so excited for it. Pressure washing it over and over and over again to clean so that I could feel okay about sending students inside to work on it. Because when we first got it, I don't know how many possums or whatever was living in there, <laughs> but there were a lot. This memorial was really about the men and women who gave their lives and the pain that it caused their loved ones that had to live with it. Much gratitude goes out to all of the college students from the Iowa Western Aviation that helped in putting, in putting this helicopter back together. He left the war to get back a man. So many don't understand. The reasons we are free. Tom really pulled it out with the sink. Yeah. I was going back checking. Super excited. <laughs> are you numb? Wow. Yeah, pretty numb. Wow. <laughs> Overwhelmed. I'd like to kind of sit at that go, go, one spot. Go. What's going through your mind right now? It's perfect. Snoopy on the front is perfect. Yeah, yeah. I can't even imagine. No. Everything comes back, man. All of them. The good things and the bad things. Did you ever think you'd see this again? No, we never did. Uh, I don't know, I'm just kind of, I'm just overwhelmed. So. There's so many memories. <laughs> Dylan, you guys did an amazing job. Just um, an opportunity of a lifetime for the students who are here, myself and everybody involved. The, this is going to be around for a long time. A lot of people are going to see it and just what it represents. The Viet Cong soon learned to aim their automatic weapons at these slow-moving troop transports. With helicopter losses mounting at the landing zones, it became clear the slicks needed more than their own door gunners to suppress enemy fire. It means a lot. I mean, it's just amazing to be able to get our students involved in history. Yeah, I would say that um, it was more emotional. I knew that for the people involved that it meant more than, um, than, and then I would be able to understand. So it felt good to be able to help and facilitate in that. Learn how to work on a new helicopter and, you know, uh, it really means something to the veterans, it seems like, so it's nice to, you know, get a chance to, you know, work on something that means something to them. You're getting a chopped up Huey. Who's going to put this thing back together? And then Iowa Western steps up with the aviation program and says, you can use our space, you got our students, we got the programming, we're going to put it together. Um, that has just been amazing that they would do that. Time will not dim the glory of their deeds. So true, that is so true. And we, you know, I think it was Chuck Hagel that said, as long as you speak their names, they're remembered. And that's what we're trying to do with this memorial. That's cool. Oh, A memorial that's been 53 plus years in the making. And the men who signed on for this emotional memory from another time and another very distant place. This Huey helicopter, number 532, was found in pieces, but through a labor of love, has found a home and a permanent resting place. History called, Iowa Western answered.